Come on in, guys. Watch your step. Oh my god, the freaking AIDS family, Austin McBroom, is now living in a mobile home? Let's talk about it. So he, you know, divorce is crazy. Uh, Catherine McBroom says she wanted a divorce. He said he's going to go through with the divorce. He's kicked out of the house, in my opinion, and now he's living outside of it in an RV. Snapchat fam, we are on the way to my new home. I got Big Z with me. He's driving. He's been helping me move into my place the last few days. And um, I got something to share with you guys. You know, regarding my living situation, it's been a little complicated. And there was like a minor, minor setback. And I know in the end it'll be a, a big comeback, you know. So it's a little, just a little minor setback. But, you know, everything's working out. And uh, I'm getting ready to show it to you guys. I'm excited. Um, you know, it's a big change for me. It's a big change for us. But, um, can't wait to share. What's up, guys? Here's just a little update regarding my living situation. Unfortunately, I was unable to move into the home that I really, really wanted. And you guys know how much that meant to me because I get to be as close as I can be to my kids. But I did figure out another solution that is just temporary. But it's as best as I can do for now and I'm happy with it and as long as they're happy and I'm happy that's all that matters so this is what I did I was able to get this new motorhome and so I'll be living here temporary and they're right here so I still get to be super close to my kids because they're literally you know right across the street from me so just a little update for you guys he gave us a house tour I'm gonna show you the entire house tour he gave us in the mobile home. Now, if you look back at their YouTube channel, they've done four or five huge, huge house tours every time they move in. What is up with YouTubers and TikTokers always doing house tours? But going from this mega mansions to now a mobile home, whoa. Now granted, some people were saying that mobile home is at least $100,000, but here it is, our official tour. Austin McBroom took us on. Here we go, row it. Come on in, guys. So this is where I'm gonna be staying, y'all. Fire. So check it out. This is my living room right here. It's my living room. I just got, you know, try to get a few accessories to make it feel like home. Um, here's my dining room table. Basically fits all of my kids, so it's perfect. Uh, just got this TV in. As you can see, like, this tape is on here. Like, come here, show them. Like, brand new, guys. Like, everything's brand new. Um, just pick this up. Over here is my kitchen. It's kind of a big kitchen for, you know, a motorhome. Got the stove here. Got the microwave. Uh, again, like, everything is brand new. Um, the sink here. A little hidden sink. You know what I'm saying? Um, you come over here. I got the fridge. The tape's all in the fridge. The freezer look at that sheesh then you keep walking over here even got long shower crazy it's crazy like literally stand up shower crazy here over here is uh wanna come this way i'll show you the, the room first this is the the master it's the master sorry i got just stuff everywhere right now and i got my own master closet get everything in here so yeah, this is my master TV. Every room got a TV in it. Um, this bed is probably one of the most comfortable beds that could even be in a motorhome. Like I had to customize basically like this room for the for the mattress to fit. Cozy, you know, it's really nice. Oh, that's good. Um, here's the master bathroom right here. Super spacious. Uh, we got the heated the heated toilet. Um, show them the sink. The sink is um, custom for the water to stay cold. Got the mirror. The mirror with the, the drawer like that. Um, then I got an extra window. Can peep out. Check, make sure the family's good. Got the towel holders. Then this motorhome so big that it has like extra storage just everywhere. You know? See? More towels and shit. Um, and keep coming down here. Like these are like the most 
like expensive seats that you can have in a motorhome. Um, they're the ones that recline all the way into a bed. So like you can lay right here and like, I'll show you. Can you remember what they said how to do? Uh, I think the, uh, right here. Yeah, I think. Um, it, you guys get the point. Like it comes all the way out. It reclines all the way to a bed. So like. There's one bed, two beds, and then that bed probably fit like probably like five people in it. So you could fit like a whole, like my whole family here, literally. Really nice, really nice. And then these chairs, if I unhook the latch, you can spin these around this way, and it comes into like a full living room. Like this room, living room is probably like the same size as a lot of like home living rooms, you know? So, y'all, that's the full tour. Tell me what y'all think. Be honest, comment below. Um, again, I'm super happy. Um, this is just temporary and I got to do what I got to do for, you know, my kids. As long as, you know, my kids are happy and I'm happy, that's really all that matters. And, you know, I get to be right next to them. So, again, thank you all for tuning in and supporting us all. Uh, you guys will see more videos. Me in the RV. I'm going to have, you know, my family and friends come over. I'm going to surprise them. And, uh... All right, grab a snack and come on back. First of all, I want to say, I finally, I, the Mickey head that I got here, this is a collector's item. And if you know anybody who can like custom bling it, you know how like people bling stuff, whatever. I want to maybe do like a partnership or like a shout out if somebody can like bling the outside of it or something, you know, whatever. If you know anybody, let me know. Because I see these get blinged out all the time. So I, it was hard enough to buy this. Now I gotta find something to bling it out. Okay, anyways, I digress. Let's talk about it. Listen, he gave us this sad song and dance about how he's a father putting his kids first and things like that. I'm not buying that. It's screaming views and clicks. Again, some people are gonna fall for it, but giving the pattern of behavior and what he's been saying and doing on his Snapchat. Oh, by the way, I'll put my Snapchat here if you guys wanna follow me there as well. I'm a, a Snapchat Plus member now, what's up? Anyway, so you know, good for him. He has a house, a roof over his head. Not gonna kick him while he's down. But at the same time, it does look very tongue in cheek. I don't necessarily know if he's really gonna be living in it or if that was just all part of the gimmick. In my opinion, that bus, that they could have bought that bus a long time ago and that could have been their traveling on tour bus if you ask me, but. Guys, I'm so mad right now. I woke up this morning um, and I had a good ass night, even though it was a little cold. Woke up this morning to a damn ticket. I can ticket literally at 7.13. They left this fucking ticket on my windshield saying that neighborhood watch alert. This area is for residents only, even though I used to live there. You are not a resident of this neighborhood. You may not leave your parked vehicle on the street for more than 72 hours. Has it been 72 hours? I don't even know, but violation. What officer did this? Like, people do not want me to be close to my kids. I guess dealing with this shit now. And thank God that my neighbor let me park, <laughs> let me park in their property. And I'm like not too far from the house. Like I can still see like through the tree a little bit. I can still see Captain's house through the tree. So that makes me feel safe. Um, but now I'm dealing with this and I don't know if I should try to park it back and see if they're gonna come back and give me another ticket or what I should do now. Guys, it's one thing after another, it's fucking crazy. Before I got this damn ticket, I was supposed to do a get ready with me in my new house for you guys. But I'm going to be honest, like, I'm not in the mood for it. I'm just not feeling it. Um, I know church is getting ready to start, so I'll probably just head to church and hopefully things get better from there. Um, maybe circle back around to get ready with me. I know you guys were requesting for me to do, like, a bunch of videos in my new house. So maybe another day I'll you know, do those videos for you guys. It just sucks, you know, like, like, I'm doing good, like, I'm doing good, and, like, I'm happy, um, but it just sucks when, like, this type of shit happens, and people try to, like, stop you from, like, leveling up, you know, um, so, I don't know, I'm figuring it out, 
Um, hope you guys are doing good. Thanks for always checking in on me. I appreciate the love and support as always. Um, so I'm about to finish getting ready and then I'll just take you guys with me and we'll figure out what the rest of the day has to offer. Are you freaking kidding me, bro? This dude's property I'm on right now, his sprinklers just turned on and it's wet in my whole new house. I just got this washed. Bruh. You know when one thing after another just keeps happening to you? I feel like that right now. Like, this shit is so stupid. All right, y'all. This is today's church fit. It's nothing crazy. It's casual. Hey, Z, we got to go. Come on, y'all. Y'all come with us. Come on, bro. Hey, bro. Still, bro, we got to go. What y'all think? Hmm. Very interesting team. What's going on with them? Like, I don't, I don't understand why the need to stretch out this drama because it is coming across like the Ace family is reaching and milking it for views. I keep saying that. And part of the situation was which I did on my live streams. If you go to my YouTube channel and click on live, I did a live stream the other day. And basically I was saying, if you're into that, check it out. But basically I was saying is like, it seems like he is going through this divorce, even though lawyers on TikTok and YouTube said they could never even find a marriage certificate, nor is there a, a license for them to get divorced. So that's very suspicious to begin with if they even got married, if they even were married, if they even got a divorce. So you can see where I'm like, it's not making sense here, right? So all that to say this, what do you think about that in the Ace family in this entire divorce situation? It's it's very telling. At the same time, I feel like I have a feeling that something's coming. There has to be a like a aha moment. There has to be a moment where there's some clarity as to why all this has been going on. What do you think? Is it a launch of a new album? Is it a launch of a new channel? Is he getting this divorce so so he could handle the lawsuits that he has and file for bankruptcy and then get back with her? Because you know, when you marry somebody, their debts become your debts. And I don't know, I don't necessarily think I would want to marry Austin McBroom. He's just a lot of drama. And there's a lot of civil lawsuits too, but good luck collecting because you know, you can't squeeze money out of a rock. If somebody don't have it, they don't have it. And that's just the bottom line. So I don't think Austin McBroom is bawling out of control to even pay for the civil lawsuits he has. So they're gonna be in line with everybody else. But it does look bad and people are kinda of like, I don't wanna do business with him because of it. Now all that to say this, is I'm gonna pass the question on to you folks. Do you think that the Austin, Mc, like Austin McBroom, Ace family, do you think they're stressing it for views? Or do you think this is real? Cause at the beginning I was like, oh, I feel, I feel bad for them. Oh yeah, I never wanna see anyone get divorced. But you know, sometimes you have to separate. You just, just because you're not, just because you're roommates with somebody don't mean you have to stay together. Like if I'm dating somebody and it turns into just roommate status, we gotta go. If you're not whining and dining me and 69 me, you gotta go. I mean, we gotta keep the romance alive. Let's dress up for date night. You know what I'm saying? Let's have romanticals. Let's have fun. Like if it just becomes the bore, the boring, that's the whole part about relationship is that it gets it gets boring. You gotta keep the spice alive, keep that fire. You know what I'm saying? Every now and then, like I, it's just, but if it comes to the point that y'all are just friends and just roommates and just be friends and roommates, don't be together. And you're holding each, you're holding each other back in life. Um, Catherine McBroom seems like she's a lot more happier. She says she wants to explore a lot more things with her life. Austin McBroom said that he's gonna be traveling for Valentine's Day and he has so many things off his bucket list that he has to knock off. And I'm like, hmm, wonder who he could be. I definitely see him dating a girl because I think he's 30. Austin McBroom just turned 30. So I could maybe see him dating a younger girl and I can see Catherine dating a younger guy. But I also feel like, is Austin McBroom going to get jealous when Catherine starts dating either younger, or older, or just any guy, period? Doesn't matter. Like, you know, she's still a beautiful girl. Remember, if you don't know, Catherine McBroom used to date that really famous actor in Hollywood. Um, you guys know his name. It's, it's it's right here in my head, but like I just I lost something. McJordan Jordan 
B, Jor Michael Jordan B or something, whatever. You know, what whatever. You guys, you know, you put in the comments if you know. But Michael B. Jordan, there you go. She used to date Michael B. Jordan, and so I heard she used to date some really high-profile guys, and she ended up with Austin McBroom. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. It's very interesting. Anyways, I want to talk to you about. Let me think about that. So these were these were these are vintage. Okay, there's only so many that were made, and uh, it's a lunchbox. Now it came with like the little you know sippy cup or whatever. But it was made by a brand many years ago called Aladdin, and this was the brand right here. Now, I think it was two or three years ago, Gucci remade a couple of these olive leather and it opened up and it was like a little Gucci bag. That was like $4,000 or something like that. But it was almost like a concept from this mold. The Aladdin one, like, it's just so cool. And you, you have that, there's a, it's a hard process even finding one. So I found this one and they're always gonna be in like, you know, scuffed up. But once you like, cause I see people bling them out and stuff, they look so freaking good. So it's one of those things that I can't wait to have it blinged out. And it's just like one of those pieces that it's just like a staple, like it's so freaking cool. But anyways, all I have to say this guys, get out there and find me on all social media. And I really wanna know what you guys think about all that drama in the comments down below. Do you like the mobile home? I'm not knocking it. You can be that one person in the comments. How dare you make fun of mobile home people? I'm not making fun of mobile home people. It's been so many people's dreams to live in a mobile home and travel the country. Or, you know, in that case, Austin McBroom, we hook up with girls and he'll pull up to your house in his mobile home. What's up? <laughs> anyway, let me know what you think about all that drama in the comments down below and I'll see you guys later. This is Rich Lux with the hottest news on YouTube. Bye.